In this video, we're going to use the customization tools in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 to customize an existing form in CRM. So here is my uh, account form in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Um, we're going to add a new attribute to the form to store the company number for this particular account. We will uh, modify the existing navigation on the left and we will also add a new grid to display open activities for this particular account. So providing you have permissions to customize your CRM system, you will see a customize option up on the ribbon. And if I click that, I can um, very quickly customize the form or customize the account entity. The first thing I'm going to do is customize the, the entity and add a new attribute for our account to display a company number for this account. You can add as many attributes as you like to an existing entity. You can also remove fields from the screens. You can change pick list values and labels within the customization tools. I'm going to click on my new button to create a new attribute and we will call this company number. And I'm going to save and close. The next thing to do is to customize the form. So I'm going to click on forms and I'm going to uh, double click on my main form. And the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, put my uh, new attribute onto the screen. I can choose uh, wherever I, I like to place that attribute. Over on the, the right hand side here you can see the field explorer will show all of the uh, existing fields that are available for this particular entity, the account entity. Um, I can select custom fields to show just the attributes that I have added to CRM. I can um, select my company number field and drag and drop that onto the screen. I can also remove existing fields. I could uh, highlight, for example, other phone and click the remove button. I might also uh, choose to move uh, an existing field here currency field down to a completely different section. So you can completely modify the look and feel of the forms. You can change the uh, labels. So you can double click any of these existing fields and uh, change the label or change the formatting of an existing field. So you might want to make uh, a field cover uh, the entire area of the screen. On the left hand side, you can see that you can also modify the navigation for this particular form. Up on the ribbon, if you select uh, navigation, for example, that will now highlight this area within the customization tool and you can select uh, individual items. Uh, perhaps you would, you want to uh, remove contracts because you don't make use of that particular um, entity or you don't want to link to that particular entity from the account form, you could select contracts and, and click remove to move it or you could for example double click an entire section and change the description to something more suitable for your particular business. The last thing I'm going to do is add a new section to my general tab and place a new grid to display activities for this particular account. So I'm going to actually insert a new section just below this one here and we'll make it uh, one column in width because we want to place a grid. Uh, I'm going to double click my section and give it a more sensible label. So we'll call this activities and we'll display that label and also a line um, underneath the section. And then within my section, I can add a a new subgrid and choose the entity that we wish to display 
within our subgrid. So in this case, it's going to be activities. And you can also select the default view. So it could be that you only want to see open activities for the particular account record that you're working with. You can also change the look and feel of the subgrid. So we can select whether or not we should see a search box, whether or not we should see the standard A to Z um, index, and whether or not we're going to allow users to, to change the view um, available to them with, within the grid. So I'm now going to save my changes and publish my customizations. Um, so what I'm going to do is just refresh my screen. So we should see our new company number attribute on the screen. We should see that we've removed a number of the uh, existing address fields. So here we can see at the bottom of my first section, we actually have a list of uh, related activities for this particular account.